My name is D'Angelo Cortillo. I am 21 years old and I was born in San Francisco. At age three, I was taken from my mother when she attempted suicide and placed under legal guardianship with my grandparents. For the next five years, I had a normal life. I went to preschool, Paul Revere Elementary School, made friends, and learned. Then a series of events occurred within my family and I was abruptly taken from my grandparents and placed back home with my mother. My life was turned upside down. Several months later, I was placed with my alleged father where I was sexually abused. I was then placed in a foster home, and in the next few years, I amassed over a dozen home placements. By the time I was 11 years old, I had an IEP, been in about five different schools, uh, missed countless days, was expelled twice, and was completely lost. And was completely lost. This was a crippling blow to the beginning of my education. Looking back on my experience, I wish that the educational system collaborated more, believed in my ability to achieve, and provided the necessary services and support to facilitate a better quality education. If this was in place, I feel like I would have had more opportunities for a fairer start. Unfortunately, this story is true for thousands of youth like me around California. But today, by voting to pass AB 854, which will expand support for, to students in all foster care placements, make improvements to the foster youth service program, and establish a, fo a foster youth services director in the California, California Department of Education, you have the opportunity to help the youth that were behind me, my little brothers and sisters, who still can't find stable homes and are bouncing from school to school, but who need, want, and, and are entitled to a quality education and a system that is sensitive to their needs. Today I'm an intern at the National Center for Youth Law and a board member uh, on the Transitional Age Youth Advisory Committee in San Francisco. Um, please vote to pass AB 854 and thank you for listening to my story.